thought I'd found you, pitiful wretches, and left you to rot. That curse should be unbreakable. That means you must be an imposter. I don't know why you wear the uniform of a morning star, but perhaps you'd like to suffer the same fate. Those cowards didn't deserve to reach the shores of gold. They were such worms. One of them jumped overboard the minute she laid eyes on me. <laughs> I'll cut you down just as easily. Except I think I'll take it nice and slow.
Is it true? Did you really destroy Greymarrow? Am I finally free of him? You have no idea how good it feels to hear that. The truth is, I went back to the Morning Star out of guilt, not out of greed. I was Jill, the one who jumped overboard rather than face Greymarrow. After that, I gave up my name and my old life to hide from him. I tell everyone I'm building a ship to fight a Kraken. But the truth is, it's so I could escape if he ever found me again. Still, I always wondered, could I have made a difference if I'd stayed and fought alongside the others? I'll always carry that regret. And maybe that's what I deserve. But I'll sleep a little easier now I know the others have been set free. You know, that uniform looks better on you than it ever did on me. I'm glad someone's picking up where we left off and aiming for the shores of gold. I'll clean up this piece and pass it along to you-know-who. But before you go sailing blindly into the Devil's Shroud, you should speak to the only pirate who ever used the Shroud Breaker and lived to tell the tale. You'll find her at Morrow's Peak. Good luck.